Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Pedro, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice to see good you again. Teacher. Hi, Anna, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm okay, I'm really nice. I had a good rest in the weekend, so I think I'm ready for the class. I think you're ready perfect. too. <laughs> you're, you're ready for the class too, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> always. <laughs> I always Great. ready for the class. Excellent. That's the best attitude, okay? Yes. Hi, Josue, how are you? Hi, Josue, nice to see you. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. And Mr. Ernesto, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Nice, how about you? I'm excellent, thank you. Thank you for asking. All right, let me see. I'm just going to have Google, Mr. Google ready, because I need to check something with you guys. Uh, did you practice the link that I gave you guys? Did you have yes, the chance? Sure. Did you have the chance to practice? Yes, in my case, in my case, yes. Was it easy to use it? Uh, yes. Okay. Did you have any problems? Uh, I don't have any problem okay. with that because okay. it's perfect when the uh, use, uh, use that pronunciation and listening and writing is mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm glad that you liked it. Mr. Yes. Pedro, did you, did you have a chance to practice in the link that I shared? Yes, teacher. Okay. But nice. I didn't want to practice right now, too. <laughs> uh, okay, no problem. I... <laughs> yeah, I know uh, sometimes we are busy, so don't worry, okay? Um, hi, Saida. But uh, it's a good program. Yeah. It's interactive hi. program. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very interactive uh, tool. Did you practice, Aida? No, teacher. <laughs> you didn't have time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, no problem. You can practice any other day, okay? Yes. The important thing I is that you it. listen and you practice uh, the pronunciation of the verbs, okay? Because I know that it is important to, to write it, but mm -hmm. also uh, it is important to say the verbs in the correct way. Okay. Yes. Josue, did you have the chance to practice the the verbs? Yeah. We were. Yes. There. You yes. had the practice. Okay. Good. Yes. Was it's it a easy? good. Yeah, I think two or three verbs makes uh, a little problem, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a good application. Okay. To practice because you write it, you listen it, and you look the the image. Mm -hmm. I know it's easy to understand, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, thank you. And Ivania, hi Ivania, how are you? Okay, Ivania is over there. So uh, we are seven people. So we are going to start. Okay. So. Uh, welcome back. Okay. I hope you had a nice weekend. I hope that you had a little rest and we are here ready to start a new week in this uh, pre-intermediate module number two. Okay. So um, I just want to make a short review of what we are, what we were discussing in the previous class. Okay. And we're going to do a practice of the two type of verbs that we have, okay? Which are the two types of verbs that we have? Who can remember? 
because we have two types of verbs, okay, in the past. So what are the two types of verbs that we have? Mm -hmm. Like irregular verbs? Irregular. Okay, we have regular, okay, and we have irregular, okay? So just to remind you about um, the rules that we have been learning, okay, because it is important to remember uh, these little details. Uh, on the previous class, we said that we have three different pronunciations for regular verbs, okay? The first one was id, okay, id, which is uh, when the verb finishes with the letter D or the letter T. Okay, for example, want, wanted, decide, decided, okay? Also, uh, when we don't feel a vibration, okay, in our throats, uh, when we don't feel a vibration in the last letter, we pronounce the ED like a T, okay? For example, check, checked, okay? Uh, wash, washed. Work, worked, okay? Uh, all of them finish with the letter E, D, okay? And the pronunciation is different, okay? Um, and also we have uh, the pronunciation D, okay? Which is the letter D. And in that case, you need to put your hand over here and you are going to feel mm -hmm. that it vibrates until the end, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, play, played, okay? Call, called. Listen, listened, okay? So uh, you need to remember that short uh, exercise. Como les decía en la clase anterior, no van a pasar todo el tiempo con la mano en la garganta. Eso es por cuestión de práctica que se va aprendiendo, right? Así que vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Um, solo para ver si podemos identificar qué tipo de verbo es eh, cada uno. Okay. So, tengo un pequeño juego por acá. I have a short game that we are going to do. Okay. Everybody can see this green uh, web page. Todo el mundo puede ver esta página verde. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Yes. So, um, a continuación, you are going to see a lot of verbs, okay? Muchos verbos, right? Um, you need to decide very quickly. Acuérdense que tenemos tres pronunciaciones, okay? So, van a haber seis verbos, seis verbos de cada pronunciación. Usted ahí rapidito en un cuaderno o algo, le voy a dar tiempo para que, más o menos un, uno o dos minutos, para que trate de determinar eh, qué tipo de verbo es cada uno. Si, se, si corresponde a la, a la pronunciación id, si corresponde a la pronunciación et, que sería la letra t, o si corresponde a d, que sería la pronunciación d, ¿ok? Le voy a dar de uno a dos minutos para que usted lo separe. Ahí van a estar todos mezclados, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Le voy a mostrar un ejemplo y usted se dedica a buscar los demás, ¿ok? Pero tiene que ser rápido, de uno a dos minutos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, eh, voy a empezar con plan, ¿ok? Entonces me pongo la mano acá, plan, plan, ¿ok? Entonces como siento que vibra al final, voy a decir plan, porque aquí esa es la pronunciación que estuvimos eh, es la pronunciación que estuvimos practicando ¿okay? entonces le voy a dar clic a esto y automáticamente me dice que hay seis verbos que terminan con pronunciación d ok entonces tengo que buscar cuáles son los demás cuando termine con la pronunciación d ya puedo seguir con a id y puedo, ser, y puedo seguir con act ok así que acá es que el, el, el el cronómetro va corriendo. Así que se quedó ahí en 46 segundos. Son las 8 con... Bueno, ya, ya subió a 54. ¿Ok? Uh, cuando, cuando esté un minuto, van a tener de uno a dos minutos y tratar de adivinar cuáles son eh, los demás que pertenecen. ¿Ok? Así que ahí, ahorita lo he puesto en silencio a todos. Quiero que se concentre y busque individualmente 
a qué tipo de pronunciación pertenece cada verbo. ¿okay? Si usted quiere encontrar todos los que terminan con la letra D, puede hacerlo sin ningún problema. ¿okay? O si quiere encontrar todos los que terminan con la letra T también. Pero lo importante es que diga el verbo. ¿okay? Que toque, si no está seguro, toca acá en la garganta. Acuérdese que la pronunciación de ED es, es al final. Acá todos los verbos están en presente. Pero lo que me interesa es que sepamos cómo es la pronunciation. ¿okay? Así que ya, ya van 50 segundos, casi un minuto más. Sigue tratando de ver qué otro verbo pertenece a cada uno. Y ya le voy a preguntar. ¿okay? Así que... Uh -huh. Aquí tenemos de las tres pronunciaciones. Usted ahorita practique... Si no está seguro, pues ponga su mano acá. Es importante que lo diga para que se acuerde si es D o ID. ¿Ok? Ok, 30 seconds more. 30 segundos más. Y vamos a empezar a buscar todo lo que terminan con la letra D. ¿Ok? De pronunciación. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay. Lo que voy a hacer es que para que se me corte el juego, lo voy a volver a iniciar, voy a doble plan, para que todo el mundo este, logremos hacer eso sin que no haya problemas. O sea, que de lo que se mucho, probablemente no haya escalado acá. All right, vamos a ver. ¿Cuál será? ¿Cuál será el primero? Vamos a ver. Eso no es aquí. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Dijimos el primero era plan. So acá está. Planned. Ok. ¿Alguien me quiere decir otro verbo que termina con la letra D? ¿En pasado? Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Eso. Aquí ya todos. Saldan un guardamos. ¿Alguien más? Uh -huh. Try. Try. Ok. Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien más? Loved. Ah, loved. Ok. ¿Perdón más? Answer. Sí, sí. Answer. Answer. Ok. Answer. No. Desire. Desire. Okay. Vamos a ver. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm. Excelente. Ahora vamos con el siguiente. ¿Qué prefieren con t o con id? Díganme uno. Id. Id. Ok. ¿Cuál sería uno con id al final? Acuérdense que es los verbos que terminan con la letra t o con la letra d. Uh -huh. Con trust, con constructed. Excelente. Constructive. Uh -huh. Constructive. Uh -huh. Point. Pointing. Point. Uh -huh. Pointing. Hated. 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 Ok. Hated. Acá me preguntará teacher, pero termina con la letra E. Sí, pero ahora ponemos la D, ya no le ponemos otra E. Entonces, literalmente, según el inglés, termina con la letra E. Y luego nos quedamos únicamente con los que terminan con T. ¿Cómo sería la pronunciación de ese, chicos? Laugh. ¿Cómo sería en pasado? Laughed. Laughed. Fixed. Fixed. Con T al final, pero de, de, de pronunciar. Fixed. Ajá. Nice job, ok, excellent. Thank you. Así que, así como, se, como pueden ver, acá tengo la, las tres pronunciaciones diferentes, ok. Y pues al final ya en el futuro usted no va a pasar con la mano acá, ok. It is a matter of practice, ok. Entre más dice un verbo en pasado, y se acuerde de su pronunciación, ya no va a tener que pasar con la mano acá. ¿Ok? Pero sí, cuando se aprende, así pasamos usualmente. All right. So, uh, we did this. Ok. And now, quiero solo double check. 
Sí, estuvimos practicando un poco eh, lo de los verbos. ¿Ok? Así que me voy a pasar a Quizlet. Todo el mundo puede ver esta parte que dice bye. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, bye. teacher. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ir one by one. Ok. Te voy a preguntar dos verbos a cada uno hasta llegar a 30 paramos y continuamos con la clase. Porque en total son 60, pero no me interesa eh, saberlos todos. Solo quiero ver si estuvieron repasando o si ya se saben algunos. Ok. Vamos a ver, Pedro, what do you think? What is the past of by? Uh, boat. Boat. Excellent. Ok. Boat. Ok, correct. And Pedro, the next one is for you too. Ok. Here. Here. Heard. Ok. Heard. Así se, así, se, así se pone, pero la pronunciación sería heard. Ok. Oh, okay. Heard. Uh -huh. heard. Heard. Excellent. Ok. Excellent. Thank you. Ok. Josué, you are next. Forget. Forget. Uh -huh. Forgot. Excellent. Forget. Ok. Decimos la letra O como que si fuese una letra A. Ok. Forgot. Uh -huh. Forgot. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, break, Josué. What is a simple past? Break. Uh, broke. Broke. Excellent. Okay. Broke. Uh -huh. Broke. Thank you, Josué. Let's see, Anna. Drive. Drove. Excellent. Drove. Okay. Have, Anna. Have. Have. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Nice guys. I I I see that you have studied. That's good. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Ivania. Drive. Road. Road. Excellent. Okay. Road. And Ivania. See. So, so excellent. Okay, so this is like the movie. Okay, this is like the horror movie. So, okay, yes, uh -huh. okay, thank you, Ivania. Okay, let's see. I have more people here. Ernesto, let's see. Meet, what do you think, Ernesto? Met, met, met. okay, perfect, Ernesto. And another one, feed. Mm. No sé. Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien le quiere ayudar a Ernesto? ¿Cómo sería el...? Fail. Oh. Fail. Ajá, uh -huh. solo sería con una E. Fail, ok. Perfect. Ok, vamos a ver. One more time, Pedro. Sale. Sol. Sold. S-O-L-D. Excellent. Sold. Sold. Excellent. Think. Sold. Okay. Sold. Okay, perfect. If you remember, si se ponen a pensar, hay unos que se parecen bastante. Por ejemplo, buy, bought. Think, thought. Okay. Hay unos que se parecen... Eh, la mayoría de veces se aparecen en, en, en la estructura. Algo que siempre nos da problema, y le digo siempre porque hasta a mí me pasa, eh, es cuando estamos escribiendo, por veces no nos acordamos de la terminación, ¿ok? Y en inglés esa terminación es un poco tricky, es un poco, hay que ponerle atención, es GHT. Hay gente que pone la H primero, que la T primero, entonces ahí es cuestión de, de, de escribirlo, ¿ok? Y pues en el teléfono es, es, es bonito porque de un solo lo corrija uno si no tiene el, 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 el keyboard en English. Pero si no, si uno lo está haciendo en mano, ahí se queda uno como que, ah, no me acuerdo. De él. <risa> ok, <risa> así que, thought, ok, thought. Let's see. Uh -huh. Josué, sing. What is the song? Uh -huh. Sang. Sang, ok. Perfect. 
Uh, let's see, Anna, what is the simple past of make? Made. Made. Made, okay. Yo siempre le hago mención a mis alumnos que cuando aprendemos, in, bueno, cuando no sabemos inglés, uno siempre dice made in China. <laughs> ok, <laughs> made in China. Y en realidad es made in China, ok. Made in China. Hecho en China. Made in. Uh -huh. Made. Uh -huh. Made. Chinese. Chinese, ok. Con el virus que tienen ellos. Okay. All right, let's see. Run. Ese es bien difícil. A ver quién me lo dice. Run. 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 <laughs> Run. <laughs> ok. Es igualito. Ok. Ahí eso no cambia nada. Tanto el presente como el pasado es igual. Ok. Run. Oops. What happened? Oh, it's with letter A. Oh. Run. Ah. Run. Letter A. Ah, ok. So, one point less for the teacher. <laughs> ok, let's see. Uh, Josué, what do you think? Eight. 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 Uh -huh. Eight. Ok, perfect. Uh, let's see. Fly. What do you Flew. think? Do you? Flu. 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 Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, but the, the writing is, is the same, okay? La escritura es igual. But the, but the pronunciation, pronunciation yeah, the pronunciation is different, okay? So in the present is read, and in the past is red, like the color, red, okay? Color red, like my t-shirt, okay? Like my shirt, okay? This is red, okay, red. And in the past, the verb is also red. Mm -hmm. Red. Okay. And the last one, wake. What do you think? Walk. Walk. Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. So now vamos a seguir porque ya me quedó claro que han estudiado. Okay, so congratulations. Okay. Uh, Thank you. So now vamos a hacer un pequeño examen. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to go one by one, okay, uno por uno. Vamos a ver, Pedro, drive, what is a simple past? Pedro? Mm -hmm. Simple past. Uh -huh. The present is drive. Okay, I, I ate, um, no, only only tell me the, the 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 verb in the past. For example, this is in the present drive. What is in the past? Ah, okay. In the drop. Drop. Okay, excellent. Anna, what is the simple past of it? Eight. Eight. Excellent. Um, Josué, what is the simple past of find? Found. Found. Okay. Found. Uh, let's see, Ivania, what is the simple past of no? New. No. New, no. okay, new. No. The pronunciation is new, no. como que si fuese no, okay, new. No. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's see, Pedro, speak. Spoke. Spoke, excellent, okay, excellent. Now, I have the verbs here. And you're going to tell me what is the present, okay? What is the present? So I have build, I have think, think again, steal, buy, and teach, okay? Let's see. Creo que hay unos que están repetidos, right? So let's see. Uh, but, what is a simple present, people, everybody? Bye. 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 Uh -huh. Bye. Letter F. Letter F. Okay. Taught. What is the present? Teach. Uh -huh. Teach. Okay. Letter G. Letter G. Uh, it's stole with capital letter. Still. Still. Letter D. Porque está con mayúscula. Vamos a poner F. Y en minúsculo estaba el letter E. 
Okay. Uh, build. Built. Built. Uh -huh. Build. 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 But. Think and. Think. Uh -huh. And think. Okay. Había un par que están repetidos por ahí. All right. Let's see. Let's continue. Uh, let's see. Sit. What is a simple past? Sat. That. Okay, perfect. Cost. 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 Okay, cost. The same. Okay, no changes. Uh, hide. Is hill? Hide. Hid. Okay. Hid. <coughs> then I have the bird to be. Uh -huh. What's the word? word? Where? Where? As in where, ok. Más adelante vamos a ver un poco de explicación de eso, aunque creo que está muy fácil. Uh, tell. Told. 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 Mm -hmm. Told. Excellent. And now true and false. Let's see. Sing, the simple past is sang. True or false? True. 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 Mm -hmm. Have, the simple past is hid. False. False. Uh, false. Okay. Swim. The simple past is swam. True. 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 Okay. Draw. The simple past is new. False. False. Okay. And the last one. Get. Is the simple past of sat. False. 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 Okay. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Let's check the answers. Yes. 100%. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So, if you see the simple, I mean, the verbs, they just need practice. Okay. So, no es tan práctica. No es muy difícil aprender. Okay. So, good job. Okay. Good job. And we're going to continue. Uh, with the rest of the uh, uh, exp explanation of the simple past, okay? So, remember, we are going to change the verb only in uh, sentences in affirmative, okay? Only in affirmative. For negative, no, okay? We are not going to change the verb in negative. In affirmative, yes. In questions, what about, what, what do you think? Am I going to change the verbs in the, in the questions? No. No, okay. I don't change the verbs in the questions. Remember the first things that we practiced was uh, saying sentences in negative, okay? Uh, using the simple past. Then we practice asking questions, and now we have the verbs uh, in the simple past, but we're going to use them only for affirmative sentences, okay? So let's see. Okay. We're going to do our short review, okay? So yesterday I didn't. Yesterday was Sunday, so you were very relaxed in your house, okay? But let's see, yesterday I didn't do what? Let's see, um, Anna, tell me something that you didn't do yesterday. Uh, yesterday I didn't work. Ah, okay, perfect, oops. I didn't work, okay, all day, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, some people get confused because they know, okay, I know I'm talking about the past, so I need to change the verb, okay? Some people get confused. Some people may say, I didn't work, okay? But this word is incorrect because you are going to use this only in the affirmative sentences, okay? Only in the affirmative sentences. In negative and question, no, okay? So remember, okay? You are not going to change the verb in negative, okay? 
All right, let's see, Josue, tell me something that you didn't do yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I, um, let me see, I didn't, I didn't go outside to the park. Okay. I didn't go outside to the park. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Um, now, let's see one question. Okay. Remember that we have two types of questions. We have yes, no questions. And we have information questions. Okay. So, for the yes, no questions, obviously, the answer is yes or no. Okay. So I'm going to ask a couple of questions. For example, Ivania, did you go to the supermarket yesterday? Yeah, I did. Excellent, okay. Yes, I did. So the question is with did. So I need to answer using did. What is the negative of did people? Yeah. Excellent, okay. So if I ask, for example, if you ask me, teacher, did you go to the supermarket yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't, okay? No, I didn't, okay? Let's see, another question, Pedro. Did you play in your cell phone yesterday? Yes, repeat, please. No, I didn't. Excellent, okay, no, I didn't, okay? Perfect. Let's see, now I'm going to ask about a family member, okay? I'm going to ask about a family member. For example, uh, Anna, do you have a husband? No, I didn't. No, in that case, no, I don't. I don't have. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, uh -huh. uh, I'm a single person. Ah, okay, <laughs> nice. Excellent. <laughs> uh, do you have a, a brother? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. So, did your brother play soccer yesterday? No, he didn't. Excellent, okay, no, he didn't, okay? I'm asking about another person, but in the past, I don't change anything, okay? So that's great, excellent. And the last question, let's see, Ernesto. Um, did you watch a movie yesterday? Yes, I did. Excellent, okay, excellent, all right. So over here we have the negative, okay? That's something that we learned uh, some weeks ago, some days ago, sorry. And also the questions, okay? Now you can say some activities that you did yesterday, okay? In my case, um, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, say some activities that I did yesterday, okay? And then you are going to have the opportunity to say some activities that you did yesterday, okay? For example, um, yesterday I prepared my classes, okay? Yesterday I uh, watched a movie, yesterday I went to my friend's house, okay? And yesterday, I uh, checked my email, okay? So if you see, I am using regular verbs and I am using irregular verbs, okay? Aquí no le podría decir que hay una hay una, este, no hay una alguna manera de saber si el verbo es regular o irregular. Simplemente el verbo o es irregular o es regular, ¿ok? Así que, como les mencionaba, this is a matter of practice, ¿ok? When you practice, you remember, ah, this verb is irregular, so I need to change everything. Ah, this verb is regular, so I need to add ed, but I need to remember the pronunciation, ¿ok? <coughs> So it all depends on the verbs that you say. So right now think about two activities that you did yesterday, okay? Two activities that you did yesterday. It can be in the morning, 
it can be in the afternoon, it can be at night, okay, no problem. Two activities, think about two activities. Let's see. Um, let's see, Anna, can you tell me okay. two activities that you did yesterday? Okay, uh, yesterday at morning, I mm -hmm. went to the market with okay. my brother. Okay. But I bought the vegetables and fruit. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, in the af at afternoon, mm -hmm. I went to the Jardín Botanico Plan de la Laguna with oh, my family. Nice, excellent place. I like that. Yes. <laughs> it's very beautiful. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Anna. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, um, Pedro, tell me two activities that you did yesterday, Pedro. Yesterday, I visited my brother in the night. Your um, what? Yesterday. So? You visited who? Yeah, yesterday, I visited my, uh, my brother in the night. Ah, your brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, um, I uh, talk in the afternoon with my wife. Okay. Okay. Nice. Just remember that visit. You need to say ir. So visit ir. Okay. Or visit. Uh huh. Visit. Visit. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Let's see, Ivania, tell me two activities that you did yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I played a chess. You played chess? Uh, yes. Um, ah. Yesterday, I went to the mall with my family. Ah, you went to the mall? Okay, perfect. Is it easy or difficult for you to play a chess? Mm, so, so. So, it's so. not difficult, but it's not easy. Yeah, it is not easy. Mm -hmm. Because I don't um, play it with, um, that okay. professionals. Uh -huh. Yeah. More hobby. Okay, yeah, you're a, you, you, you play as a hobby, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. I like chess, but it's a little bit complicated. And you need to think about the strategy. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, Josue. Thank you, Ivania. Josue, um, tell me two activities that you did yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, I cooked uh, some sea food. Okay. Nice. Yes. You like cooking? Uh, yes. Just uh, practice. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, then... Um, I walk, walk mm -hmm. to my with my dog in the park. Okay, perfect. Okay, walked. Excellent. Walk. Uh huh. Excellent. Thank you. And finally, Ernesto, tell me, um, tell me two activities that you did yesterday. Let me tell you the same, like a meme in Facebook. At the morning, nothing. At the afternoon, neither. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can say, I spent the day in my house. I slept. Okay. I watched memes. <laughs> okay. All right. So now uh, you're going to do it more, a little bit more complicated. Okay. Because you need to think about some activities that you did last weekend, okay? Not this weekend, not, uh, for example, February, February 1st and February 2nd, no, okay? It has to be last weekend or on January. You can think about some activities uh, that you did on January or last year, okay? Think about some activities that you did. I will say prepare like five five activities that you did, okay? And then we are going to work in groups and um, you are going to listen to the sentences that the others are saying, but also uh, you, need to, uh, you need to ask yes, no questions, okay? Using did, did you, did you? For example, 
uh, I'm going to change this yesterday for uh, last weekend, okay? Last weekend I prepared my classes. Last weekend I watched a movie. Um, last weekend I went to my friend's house. And uh, last weekend I checked my email. What are some yes, no questions that you can ask me about these activities? Mm -hmm. These are my activities. Think about some questions related to these activities that I did. Mm -hmm. Did you check your email last weekend? Oh, yes I did, okay, yes I did. What okay. did you do last weekend? Uh, okay, I, yeah, I can say whatever. I mean, I can say any of those, of those four. But for example, if I say, uh, last weekend I watched a movie, and then you can ask, oh, teacher, did you like the movie? And I can, I'm going to say, ah, yes, I did. I liked the movie, okay? And then you can say, for example, last weekend I went to my friend's house. Uh, did you eat pizza with your friend? Uh, no, I didn't, okay? So you need to think about other questions uh, about my sentences, okay? You need to think about other questions, okay? Other questions. Did you go along at the movie? Ah, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, I went. Did you listen to music, uh, romantic music, sorry? Uh, last what? weekend? Ah, last weekend. Ah, mm, no, I didn't. I think I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Did you have action kitchen in the last weekend? <laughs> Did you have what? <laughs> <laughs> action is that dancing playing ah, ah, like, okay okay uh no i, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> that is a dangerous question that is a dangerous question <laughs> okay all right so do you have your five activities people think about something that you did for example last month last year okay or last weekend okay all right so uh we're going to make groups okay you can mention some activities and then you can ask questions using did you okay did you okay so please uh accept the uh invitation for the groups please Thank you. Nice yes. to meet you. Look. Look. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. David, where did you go yes. last weekend? Uh, last weekend, we got to... Shop. Shop. This is in the past, bro. Really? Sí. Uh, 
we go to the supermarket to buy some things for our child. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. What so, about you? So if you say in the past, you need to say we went. We went. We went. We went. We went. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Nice. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. In my what case, about you? the last Saturday. Uh, last... The last weekend on Saturday, I went yes. to the yes. church in Atmonia. International business, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I ask you a short answer. Okay, yes, is uh, uh, la, um, did you uh, check your email? Yes, uh, I. Uh, uh, yes, I, 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 I check, or I check it, um, I, I check it, um, my emails every day in the morning or afternoon, uh, in my job or in ah. my personal email. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, perfect. Remember that when it's a yes, no question, you can answer, yes, I did, okay? Very simple, yes I did. And then uh, the simple pass of check is checked, okay? Check. 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 Mm -hmm. with T. Checked with T, check. excellent. We are, teacher, we are prefer the long sandwich because it's for the practice. Ah, true. <laughs> true. the vocabulary and for the correction too. <laughs> that, that is true, <laughs> that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you like it, uh, the business? Maestro, did you like it? Did you like it to study business? Business masters? Ah, yes, yes, I like it. Okay, where did you study the the business uh, master's degree? I, I. I started, uh -huh. I started in uh, uh, Matia Delgado University. Ah, University, uh -huh. okay, perfect, nice, nice. Uh, I have a question okay. for you. Uh, did you take a shower today? <laughs> <laughs> in the night, sometimes. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure. Yeah. But it was a little cold today in the morning. So, uh, did you take a shower? <laughs> uh, yeah. Some people boil the water, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some people boil the water. They yeah. like the hot water. <laughs> yeah. Right. So one minute more. Okay. One minute more, and then we go back to the group. Okay, did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. We're going to go back to the other group, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello, welcome back. Mm -hmm. So, okay, oh, we're almost yeah. 
we are almost um, done with this. Wow, I just yes. want to introduce the, the other topic that we're going to study okay. uh, 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 beginning by tomorrow, okay? Um, so now that we know how to answer yes, no questions, okay? We are going to learn how to answer information questions. The difference is that we are going to answer using a long answer, okay? A complete sentence, okay? For example, uh, what refers to things? For example, uh, what is your favorite color, okay? Your favorite color is a, it's a thing. That's why we call it, uh, well, that's why we use what. What about where? Uh, what is where asking for? Mm -hmm. About a place? About a place, okay. About a place, excellent, okay. What about what time? What is asking for? Hour on a period of time. Okay, an hour, uh-huh. It can be sometimes a period of time, okay. Oh, there we but usually it's hour or time, okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's leave it that simple, okay. Um, and finally, how? What is how referring to? Mm -hmm. mm. Any, any ideas? How? 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 Mm -hmm. mm, method that used to prepare or, uh, or realize something? Mm, okay, yeah, we can use it like for, for example, how did you like it, okay? For example, if you liked something or not, okay? So we can call it like manner, okay? We can call it like manner. We're going to see some examples uh, about this tomorrow, okay? Okay. So let's see, we have the first question over here. If I ask you, what time did you wake up in the morning, uh, today in the morning? You're not going to tell me yes. You're not going to tell me no, okay? You need to give me a complete answer. So what time? is referring to hour or time, okay? So for example, Josue, what time did you wake up in the morning? Yes, I wake up uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay, but what is a simple pass of wake? Work. Ah, okay. Work. Oh, I forget. Uh -huh. uh, woke, woke up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I woke yes. up at? What time did you say? Uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 6 a.m. in the morning, okay? Yes, yeah, it's in the past, right? Yeah. yeah, it's in the past, yeah. yeah. Something that we need to remember is this little here, okay? Because that is telling us, okay, this question is in the past, so you need to answer the past, okay? Let's see. Anna, what time did you wake up in the morning? I woke up uh, at five half a.m. Okay, I woke up at five thirty or five and a half. Five half. Uh huh. A.m. In the morning. Okay. In the morning. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that is another example of that one. Uh huh. The next one. Where, remember where is asking for a place, okay? Asking for a place. So, uh, I forgot to highlight this. This is the principal verb, okay? So in this case, in this question, where did you study high school? What is the principal verb? Mm -hmm. I study. I study, okay, I excellent, study. okay? I study, so. This is the verb that I'm going to change to the past, okay? Because did is only telling me that this sentence is in the past, but the principal verb is study. So, for example, if you ask me, teacher, where did you study high school? Ah, okay, I studied high school, oops. High school in, okay, I need to say that uh, in, okay, in Santana, okay. 
let's see or i can say the name of the school also okay um let's see pedro where did you study high school um yes yes i yeah um in San, i study in san jose in Santan. ah okay in the san jose college In Santa Ana. In Santa Ana, yes. Ah, okay. I studied at INSA in Santa Ana. <laughs> uh, great. I studied at INSA, yeah. INSA. <laughs> Let's see, Ana, where did you study high school? Uh, I studied um, high school in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. Or you can say the name of the of the school. Okay, that's also perfect. Okay. So okay. Um, tomorrow we're going to continue practicing answering uh, information questions. Okay. If you can, you can continue practicing some verbs in the past because that is going to help you remembering uh, the verbs in an easier way. Okay. So um, thank you so much, you guys. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay and have a good night all right thank you mr good have night teacher bye 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 bye